to Georgia State Football Weekly as we change direction from Trent Miles to the volleyball head coach, Sally Paul Hamas. And Sally, great to have you here in a busy time now as you guys are kind of just out of the gate, just back from Jacksonville, uh, one and three on the year, and uh, just starting to fire up the volleyball season. Talk a little bit about uh, where you guys are to this point. Well, we are having some of our players really emerge in our lineup. Eliza Zachary, Kita Jonaku, Didi Bohannon. And so we're, we're getting more and more players stepping up, leaders, go-to players. Our defense is starting to come together. So we're, we're constantly moving in the right direction. It's putting it all together that we're looking forward to doing. Well, Georgia State's volleyball team just back from uh, Florida. Of course, who doesn't like a road trip to Florida? You got down to Jacksonville, uh, a win over Bethune-Cookman, and some close matches with North Florida and the host Dolphins. Yes, we went two matches, five sets, and uh, we were able to get the win against Bethune-Cookman, and it could have gone either way versus Jacksonville. We made some critical mistakes in that fifth set, and we're really focusing this week and practicing on finishing. And so when, when we see the... the uh, match coming to an end, really uh, making sure our sets are going to our go-to players and they're executing. Let's talk about some of those go-to players. You mentioned Eliza Zachary. Uh, when I was looking at stats, 39 kills, 8 blocks. So she's really stepping up and, and making some big plays for you guys. Yes. Uh, first of all, our passers are getting her the ball. That's the mm -hmm. biggest thing with any middle is having the, the pass that allows us to set our middles. And uh, Natalia Nieto, is, she's doing a great job finding Eliza. Um, in volleyball, you want to move along the net, and you have a lot of offensive weapons when you can move to different zones on the net. Eliza's a fast athlete, and she worked so hard this summer on her arm swing, and She's reaping the benefits of all of her hard work. Yeah, you mentioned Natalia Nieto, 41 assists. And, and you know, you being in your first year at Georgia State, it's a, a process from a coaching standpoint of getting them to know and understand and embrace their roles. Yes. Yes, and so um, not only their roles, but the IQ of the game and the progression of training. And so um, with Eliza, she, in her last two years, was really a, a single um, kind of element hitter. She mm -hmm. hits just behind a little bit, mostly in front of the setter. Now she can hit all along the net, so she's very, di very diverse in her offense. Uh, Didi Bohannon um, has done a great job of becoming a six-rotation player. That's a lot of work to pass and hit and play all six rotations so she's she's really stepping up her game and um, defensively we have some some a lot of competition defensively on the court all right we're talking georgia state volleyball with sally paul hamas and who doesn't like a trip to boone north carolina especially this time of year it's kind of fall before we get into the cold weather up there and that's exactly where georgia state will be heading next you're going to be at the appalachian state tournament up in boone App State, obviously hosting Radford and Maryland. Yes, a very tough tournament. All of them have significant wins. Radford just beat Cal, which is also receiving top 25 ranks. Um, App State is around 32 in the, the poll. And so Maryland is undefeated this season. So uh, a great tournament to come into. Um, App State will lead off with our first conference match, and that's their first Sun Belt Conference. Uh, match so right. for their host school which is a lot of fun so we know it's going to be a great environment they have some key players that we need to definitely try to, to slow down um, shut down would be great but uh, we're really focusing on our side of the net and executing our game plan of course right around the corner after Boone is the Sun Belt Conference so full on yes well best of luck appreciate you joining us and uh, we'll be watching thank you very much all right thank you.